All right, here we are. It's Wednesday morning, and I apologize for not sending one last night. Here's the deal, I forgot. All right, sweet. Now that that's out of the way, let's go to the elephant in the room. I'm in a car. Yep, that's right. It's car time, baby. Um, not my car, though. I am borrowing my friend's car, um, my roommate, David, who's made a couple appearances. Um, I'm borrowing his car for a couple of days to leave at the airport because today I am flying to Philadelphia. Um, yeah, today I get to go on a retreat with the Capuchins um, in Philadelphia at their postulancy house, um, which I'm very excited about. So, um, the f mom, before you freak out, um, I'm still on campus, so that's the only reason I'm looking at the camera more frequently than maybe I should. Um, as soon as I leave campus, which is in like 20 seconds here, um, eyes on the road, all right? But um, <laughs> no, we're, in Phil we're going to Philadelphia today, so that's really exciting, I think. Um, it's been a weird process having that knowledge that I'm leaving to go to Philadelphia for a retreat because Number one, um, we, being Damascus, are on retreat starting today. So there's a retreat today through Friday that I'm missing all of. Um, and it's like, it's the exact hours that I'm gone. Um, and it's really weird for me missing a retreat because except for being sick, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. I haven't missed a retreat. Um, so it's weird feels weird it feels really weird because um it's a big retreat we have like 22 small groups um which is almost max capacity so it feels strange not being a part of one of our really big retreats but the lawyers are even speaking a lot of peace into that um which is great so i've i've come to terms with that that i'm missing a big retreat but um no this process started so back in the fall i went on a come and see retreat with them also in pennsylvania just on the western half of pennsylvania and now i'm flying to the eastern part um with the capuchins i went on a come and see and it was great i loved it um really great guys really great spiritual life really great everything um it was just so much fun um and i definitely wanted to visit them again after that um the difference is the come and see i went on in the fall was at their retreat center so it was very much like secluded kind of like a retreat literally a retreat um where it was like focusing on on their spirituality and what they do in that realm and I loved it, but I wanted to get a perspective of like day-to-day -day life. So um, in the fall, I knew I wanted to schedule something where I was going to see them at their postulancy house in Philadelphia during the week so that it was more of like a, here's what we do. Sorry, I'm passing a cemetery. Um, so it was more like a, here's what we do from day to day, day in, day out first year of Capuchin life as a postulant. Um, and so that opportunity presented itself about a month ago. I received a phone call from the vocations director for the Capuchins of the province of St. Augustine, which is the province we're in. Um, and he basically said, hey, when are you coming to visit? And I said, hey, let's figure it out right now. Um, so we talked about different dates that might work. Um, and this week was the most likely for me to work. And the brothers are in Philadelphia. So you can't go visit them if they're not there, you know? Um, but I like, I put in, I immediately put in a request off for the retreat. Um, and... I was hoping I would get it, but I wasn't 100% sure, you know, because sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. And it took 
like two, two and a half weeks for them to approve their request off. And then as, as soon as I got the email, I sent um, Father Rafa a text and I was like, hey, I'm good to go. And we figured out flights that would work. Um, and it's just been a wonderful adventure trying to get this retreat set up because I know that I need it, you know? Um, this past week, summer rolls came out. Um, so we found out what we'll be doing next, or this upcoming summer. Um, and I am going to be program leading in Ohio, which may sound like it makes sense because I'm currently program leading in Ohio, but CYSC, the summer camp, is a huge and much different beast than like retreat life. Um, so um, it, 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 it's awesome, I'm honored, I'm excited, and I'm kind of scared because CYSC is like what Damascus was founded out of. Um, it's like the OG. It's the cream of the crop. It's like what we do. Um, so I'm a little nervous because um, that's a lot to live up to. But the Lord has been slowly chipping away at that at that fear, at that nervousness. Um, this past week we had an opportunity to, or I guess I had an opportunity, um, to we program led a retreat that took place in the retreat center and Wednesday night we had adoration in the schedule but we didn't have a priest uh oh how do you do that um I'm a commissioned extraordinary minister of holy communion which means that technically um I can expose um Jesus in the monstrance kind of um, if the Mondrins is set out on the altar, I can transport the Luna and put it in. Um, and I had the opportunity to do that last Wednesday. And afterwards, I was sitting in adoration, looking at Jesus and talking with him about this program leading thing. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if I'm trustworthy. Like, I don't know if I can trust myself. And Jesus straight up looked at me and went, Joseph, I trust you to carry me from the lodge to here. Like, I trust you to hold me. Why wouldn't you be trustworthy? Um, so that was a big blow um, of like realizing that fear that I was coming up against. Um, and I think everything that the Lord has been speaking in the past few days leading up to this retreat that I'm going on now is just kind of affirmation of that, of it's like letting the worries flow away no, like trusting in the Lord, trusting he's going to take care of it and just loving him first and all else will follow. Um, and so like, it's been really fun. The last few days I've seen a lot of animals. saw like a bird a lot closer than usual. seen a lot of deer. Um, what the, the cat at Damascus just followed me for a little bit yesterday. Um, and I was just kind of like, okay, St. Francis, I see what you're doing. Um, so he definitely wants me to go on this retreat. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a big time. It's a big thing. I'm excited about it and it's going to be a blast. So I will let you know next week how the retreat went, how life is going. Um, gas is 415. Holy cow. That's insane. Um, but I will, I'll let you know next week how it went and how things are going um, and where the Lord took me um, this week because he's taking me somewhere and I'm excited. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Um, I'm praying for you. Please pray for me, especially this week. Um, and I will see you guys next week.